Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I got a few comments on my last video, How to Write a Queens of the Stone Age Song in Less Than 60 Seconds. Um, people ask in what scale uh, I used for the end solo. And I know there's some videos on YouTube floating around um, on the infamous Josh Homme, Queens of the Stone Age scale. Um, and I have something that's pretty similar um, to what he uses on a lot of stuff. I don't know what it's technically musically called, but I do know um, that it sounds kind of like Queens of the Stone Age. So um, to show you guys what it is, basically, I've, I've kind of I've tuned my guitar down a step. Um, a lot of times they play in, um, you know, drop C or something like that. But this is just tuned down a step. Basically, the scale is... Um, at least how I started is if I'm playing an A, there's my, my open A. Then my, my first note of the scale is going to be on the D string, this 5, up to 7. 5 on the G. 6 on the G. And then 8 on the G, so that... Then on the B string, five on the B, seven on the B, eight on the B. And then sometimes you can go up to this um, E string five. So it's a lot of, a lot, of a lot on the five, but. Kind of just got to play around with it, do some pull-ons and. Uh, or hammer-ons and pull-offs and just kind of uh, figure out what, what sounds like a little riff that they would do. So it's kind of interesting. There's a bunch of different Queens of the Stone Age songs where that fits in and you can kind of hear it. I mean, you've got... Um, I think I lost my head. It kind of has some. I mean, those are all notes that are in that little scale I just showed that. Those are all in there. Um, I'm going to butcher this, but um, someone's in the wolf kind of has a. Whatever it is, it's it's all in that range too. Um, they like to do this chord. At least Josh does this like it's like a bar chord, but in, instead of making this little happy pinky sound, you kind of push it out further. So it's instead of tucked in behind your um, your uh, third finger here, it, it goes out to the fourth the fourth fret from from your first finger. So it's. So, I mean, turning on the screw, you hear that? Um, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of uh, Josh Homme solos or riffs that are actually just in a pentatonic. Um, you've got... Uh, In autopilot right there, that's all just in the pentatonic scale, but just the way he plays it and the inflection kind of makes it sound like it's in that weird scale. Um, um, if only from the the first record, that's that's all just in the pentatonic scale too, so... Just kind of interesting. He he goes back and forth between stuff that just is you know, in the normal kind of pentatonic scale. It sounds kind of funky, but just the way he plays it makes it sound like he's got his own. But um, anyway, I just uh, got a lot of comments on that one, so I figured I'd throw something out there, and hopefully you guys uh, can use it, and um, that made sense to you, and I hope you guys are... Stoked about the new album coming out. Thanks.